So hello guys, this is your favorite for my sister being Bola with my top poll. Here I discuss everything about your health, your wellness and drugs. And let me quickly ask these questions. Has it ever happened to you before as a woman that after having sex with your husband, you become anxious because you're not ready for another baby and you just had an unprotected sex? Or your menstruation is approaching, your next menstruation is approaching and you're afraid because you did not use anything. You had an unprotected sex and you did not use any after pill, nothing. So you are just, your faith is hanging on God. <laughs> so this video is for you. Or perhaps you are on any hormonal contraceptives and you are having unpleasant side effects and you're trying to opt out or you're thinking of opting out or you're about to make a decision to go for family planning and you have zero idea about any of the family planning methods that require no drugs. Then this video is for you because in this video i will share six family planning methods that do not require you to use any pill neither do they require you to take any injectables and importantly they have no sign we already reached 100 subscribers and if you are yet to subscribe to this channel then you're on a long thing if you are yet to subscribe to this channel kindly click on the subscribe button and remember to turn on notification bell thank you Never mind my eyes, in case you're seeing that it's red. I'm currently suffering from conjunctivitis. <laughs> so unlike hormonal options such as your contraceptive pills, implants, and other injectables, these methods have no side effects such as high blood pressure. Some people are even depressed. Um, blood clots, irregular menses, acne, weight gain, hair loss, and so on and so forth. These methods I want to discuss have no side effects. So stay tuned. So the first method I'll talk about is known as coitus interruptus. My big grammar simply means the withdrawal method. So you can talk with your spouse and he ensures that he understands his body and he understands the sensation when he's about to ejaculate and while he's about to ejaculate he quickly withdraws his mr p that is a simple method that has helped a lot of people but your husband needs to know how to do it the right way the second method i want to talk about is periodic abstinence and that simply means the you maximize or you leverage on your safe period. So for a woman who knows how to calculate her menstrual cycle, her ovulation, it will be easy for such woman to calculate her safe period. But generally safe period is like five days after, the first five days after your menstruation. The first five days after the end of your menstruation actually so when you stop when you complete menstruating in a month then the next five days you're most likely safe and you can maximize that period to meet with your spouse to meet with your husband and enjoy each other then you go on a break that's why i called it um abstinence then you abstain then the next menstruation you maximize that period too the next is the use of spermatocida jelly. Spermatocida simply means killing of spermatozoa, killing of sperm. So there are creams available at the pharmacy store that helps to kill sperm. So what you do is apply these creams, this cream on your vagina such that after meeting with your spouse or with your partner, all the spermatozoa that will be released into you will get killed. And by so doing, you are not afraid of getting pregnant. The first one, the first method I'll talk about is the use of condoms. So some people may say, I have, I don't enjoy the use of condom. I don't enjoy using condom. It's not like flesh to flesh. But I must say, that's simply because they have not tried other brands. Maybe they've only been using a simple brand, just a single brand. So explore, try out other brands. The other brands that will make you feel like skin to skin, I tell you. You can alternate these condoms. There are condoms for men and there are condoms for women. So you can draw a timetable where you decide who wears condom this week and who wears condom the next time. <laughs> The fifth method I will talk about is the use of vagina diaphragm. Vagina diaphragm is this in that you're seeing on your screen. So it's just like it's similar to a female condom. So you insert it into your vagina and it obstructs the sperms from entering inside your vagina where and um, it obstructs the sperms from entering into your vagina where they will 
swim to meet the egg so what you simply do is when you are done after some time you just remove the diaphragm and wash and the sweet thing about this method is that you can decide to just drop the diaphragm somewhere till the next time you want to use it or you you take it back you insert it back into the vagina and lastly is the use of intrauterine device iud also known as copper t although copper t can predispose you to vaginal infections but the side effects are quite safe and they are fewer than the hormonal options so you can make use of your copper t provided that you can maintain a premium hygiene then if you can maintain good hygiene i don't think you should worry about vaginal infections so thank you guys for watching i hope you have been able to pick one or two things and i hope that you will make use of all the information that i have dished out today i'll see you in the next video